Hey everybody, thank you for coming back to my channel today. Hey everybody, thank you for watching today's video. Hey everybody, thank you for coming back to my channel today. Hey you guys, so Brett and I are back with another video together. Hey everyone. Hey everybody, thank you for coming back to my channel today. Good morning, you guys. So today I am going to vlog behind the scenes of how I film my YouTube videos. So even though all my videos are very different, I film them all exactly the same way. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys just kind of all the basic steps that I take um, to start from you know, absolutely nothing to having a video finished ready to edit. So I thought this would be interesting. I hope you guys like it. Um, and let's just go ahead and get started. So something I already did, but didn't film because I forgot because it was so early in the morning was get ready. So I did my hair and makeup already and I just ate some breakfast and got a little bit of work done. But typically part of filming a video is getting ready. So I'm pretty fast at getting ready. I can do my hair and makeup in about 15 to 20 minutes done like full on if i took any longer it'd be stupid in a waste of time because i have a lot to do in the day you know um and honestly i kind of want to get i kind of want to be fast at getting ready so that when i like become a mom and have like a lot more going on that i can still get ready and still like be myself in that way you know like i would hate to like be so busy where I don't have time to feel my best. So anyways, I like being fast at makeup for that reason, um, but I'm not finished getting ready yet because I have to put my outfit on, put my jewelry on, and all that kind of stuff. One tip I think is important for at least my videos is having a little bit of jewelry on. So I have pretty much the same things I wear every day. You guys know that I have like my basic pieces, but in videos, I feel like it's really eye-catching to have on just a little bit more than you would normally wear. Same thing with your makeup, wear a little bit more than, more than you normally would and it will really look beautiful on camera. It catches the light really well. It's just like interesting to look at. So I'm gonna add a couple more pieces of jewelry so I don't look so bare. This is what I'm currently wearing. Just some earrings, Miranda Fry necklace, and my wedding ring, but I'm gonna add a couple more pieces. I wanted to take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. So since you guys learn from me on my channel, I thought you would like to hear about Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, business, and technology. We can even share classes with each other. If you guys use Skillshare, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite classes are. There's actually over 20,000 classes in all different subjects like video editing, photography, entrepreneurship, business. It really helps with inspiration and even if you're like facing any type of struggle with creativity or like what to do next with your business, there's a lot of tools that can be really beneficial for you. If you guys want to try out Skillshare, you can get two months free premium membership. Just click the link down below in my description box and then after the two months, it's only $10 for the annual plan. So it's really affordable. So if you guys want to try Skillshare for two months, you'll get it absolutely free just by clicking the link in my description box down below you can learn anything you want for two months just use the link down below a very important step in getting ready to film a YouTube video is to give your dog belly rubs she loves the belly rubs she just loves to lay in the Sun in my office and then I come and give her love love and belly rubs she's very sweet you're just a sweet girl she's just my little assistant Here's my jewelry box, and here's my jewelry box on top of my jewelry box <laughs> that I keep things that I wear really often. I have my Orange Theory heart rate monitor in here. And then I think today I've been really liking these really thick hoops. And then I've been pairing these together, these two rings, but on my middle finger. And I think it's really cute. Um, I've been loving this Miranda Fry Signet ring, and I might put on one more necklace. Um, I have been liking this one from Miranda Fry. This one. It's gorgeous. Once you're ready, I have my top on. The secret is, 
to wear sweatpants or shorts <laughs> with your top so that you're comfortable and you can move around, you can change your lighting, you can change your camera, you can blah, blah, blah. So you're just comfortable because you're not gonna see my bottoms except for in the behind the scenes vlog, so it doesn't really matter. But anyways, I have my outfit on. Um, so now the next thing I'm gonna do is kind of clean up my office. So my office is just like any other office. I have stuff, you know, kind of floating all around all the time. Um, but when I film, I want it to look kind of empty and really clean and minimal. So I'm just gonna kind of clean up, make sure all my drawers are shut, you know, pick up Joy's. I don't know if you can see them, but Joy has tennis balls on the floor right here. So I'm just gonna kind of pick up real quick. This one doesn't apply to everybody, but I keep my bike in my office and right where I keep it is right where I set up my camera. So anytime I film a sit down video, I have to roll my bike out into the hallway. <laughs> Once everything is for the most part picked up, I'm gonna start setting up my little filming area. So I have two lights back here. I usually keep one in the basement and one up here because Brett uses one sometimes. Um, but I have them both up here today, but it's still pretty bright out, so I don't think I really even need them. Sometimes when I film, the sun is on that side of our house, so I don't really get any light in here, so I have both my ring lights. But right now, the sun is still right over there, so I might actually wait a little bit to actually sit down and film this. So right now, I'm just gonna get my little filming area set up. So I'm gonna bring my lights over here, I'm gonna get my tripod set up. Also, what I'll do um, during the time that I'm filming is make sure that all my cameras have um, their batteries charge. So I just make sure of that by literally turning the camera on and seeing where the battery level is at. And I just charge them all, so they should be good. Yep. And then I just make sure that all my cameras have a SD card in them and that it's like empty or that, you know, I know what's already on there so I, it doesn't fill up while I'm in the middle of filming. While I'm setting up my camera situation, Brett and I just ordered this microphone and I've used it in one video, so I'm gonna use it again in this video that I'm actually filming, not the video that you guys are watching, but in the video that I'm setting up to film today, I just um, hooked this up to my camera and then there's a little piece that hooks onto my shirt or whatever, and then I have like nicer audio. So you guys will have to go watch the video that I'm filming in this video and let me know what you think. Next thing I do is create a list of shots that I want to get. So I'm just gonna show you guys the list of shots that I want for this video. So things that I've already filmed, I have like clean up, make sure my batteries are charged, set up my lighting, set up my chair, just like anything you can think of for your video that you could possibly need, get that shot. So sometimes if the video that I'm filming is sponsored, I like to print out like some key talking points that they really want me to hit or key talking points that I really want to share with you guys like about the pieces that I'm wearing or about the vitamins that I'm taking or whatever it is. I just like to kind of have, you know, it really thought out and well prepared. Um, yeah, so I'll do that right now, but the video that I'm filming today is sponsored, but um, it's a fashion video, so I pretty much have it all figured out, so I don't have to print anything out. Um, but that also goes like if you have like a coupon code that I want to share with you guys, I'll make sure I have it written down, make sure I get it right, or if there's a website I want to share or whatever. I'll just get that all ready to go so that I have exactly what I want to say ready to go. So the video I'm filming today is all hung up right here in my closet. It's a little fall, um, like cozy haul like kind of how to dress for fall like from work to date night so i just have some pieces right here including the piece i'm wearing so i'm just going to kind of figure out my outfits and how i want to pair them so right here you can see it's a lot of tops and i don't have any bottoms with this look um so i'm just going to figure out what bottoms i like best with all these what shoes if i want to pair a bag with it any tips i can help give you like how to style these i'm going to try to figure that out real quick and then start pairing them all together. So for the video that I'm filming today, I need to film my outfits. So I just took my mirror that was on that back wall back there and brought it right here. This is right in front of my jewelry boxes behind there. But I just needed it in a space where behind me it looks cute, where if I had it over here, behind me is like my random jewelry box and stuff. 
So I just covered my jewelry box and I'm gonna have like my cute little fall pumpkin behind me, my candles, my purses, my pretty desk. So I just kind of moved my mirror and that's why I love having mirrors that are just wall leaning mirrors, not mirrors that you mount to the wall because you can move it all the time. And if I wanted to film in our room or if I wanted to film downstairs or whatever, even sometimes what I like to do is put the mirror on the ground and then it will reflect light up like beneath me and it's so pretty. It makes you glow so much. Or if you have a handheld mirror, put the handheld mirror in your lap when you're sitting and filming and it's really pretty. But anyways, I just needed this mirror here today to film this outfit. So if you guys wanna see where this outfit is from, make sure you guys watch that video. <laughs> filming my outfit portion of this video now I'm gonna film my sit down portion so what I mean by that is I literally sit down right here and I go right in front of my window I have my light light camera right in front of me and then I put a mirror right here so I can kind of see what I look like um, but I like the lights on either side of me um, I feel like it just adds the most like pretty glow hey and I did just order another light to put right on top of my camera but it's not here yet but I'm hoping that comes soon. I wanted to show you guys the difference in lighting so right now is with absolutely no lighting like my window is closed I have no lights on I'm gonna open my window and show you guys the difference when the window is open okay so here is with natural lighting so I don't have my lights on all I did was open my window it's beautiful it's glowy it's really real looks good so now let's try with my lights on isn't that gorgeous like it makes my eyes look pretty it adds like really pretty glow to like the high points of my face it makes my lip gloss look better like the natural lighting was great but i feel like the ring lights add a really beautiful glow right here is my microphone and then i'm just gonna hook up my side of the microphone onto my shirt okay i just clipped it right there so you can't really see it but it's like right where my audio is. So since I'm filming a sit down version of the haul, I'm just going to grab out the clothes I just tried on and have them just on the ground next to me so I can grab them when I'm showing you guys. <music> okay, now that we're officially all set up, we're ready to go. We're going to start filming! Yay! Finally! <laughs> Everybody, thank you for watching today's video. Okay, now that we're done filming, I just got set up at my desk and Brett actually just helped me move my little cabinet back there. So now that wall is empty. It's just my bike over there. But I like it back there a lot. It was Brett's idea and then a lot of you guys also commented with that same idea. Anthony, thank you so much for that idea. We took it and we love it. Um, but when we were setting up my office, Brett was like, I think the dresser should go behind you. But I was like, no, I want it on the wall. <laughs> but now I like it. So thank you everybody. So now what we do is we take the SD card out of this camera, in my big camera, and where did I put it? <laughs> put it in my laptop. When I bought my camera, also just so you guys know, my camera is always linked in my description box. Um, but when I bought this one, this is the Canon 80D. When I bought this one, they gave me a free um, camera bag. <laughs> so I use that and I like it. Otherwise, I would have never bought one. Like, I didn't really think of it. I never thought of it, actually. Because I usually just have my little camera that you guys are on right now. But now that I have a big camera, it's nice to have, like, a designated bag for it to go in. So anyways, now I'm just going to take my SD card and import all the clips and get to editing. So that is 
everything that I do to film my YouTube videos. If you guys want to see how I edit my YouTube videos, let me know. I can totally film that for you guys. I think it'd be really fun. And uh, maybe you guys can give me some, hip, some hints or tips on ways I could do it better, even for this video. Let me know. If you guys also make videos, let me know what your process is, what I should do differently, what you guys like to do. And um, yeah, I'm going to start editing. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.